You're listening to the Range Garden Web University streaming and on-demand programming. I'm Jeff Powell in the studio with me, Dr. Jeff Hartman from the Exercise Science Program. Hello. Hello. Sun is out, and I'm back. I'm glad it's not raining. It's been raining for two days as we sat down to record this, but it's not raining today. So. Yeah, beautiful day. Yeah. Time to get outside and run. I know it is for you. I think you ran in the rain, did you not? I did not. <gasps> Those you those you days almost always me. run in the rain. <laughs> okay, all right. What are we going to talk about today? It's not running. Or maybe it is. It is. Yeah, it is about running. Um, there's a lot of interesting um, research out in the, because uh, we missed a week last week. The mm-hmm. kids were on spring break, and I was home and study about um, diet soda and how oh, that's increased the correlation between diet daily diet soda consumption and stroke and dementia. Um there's some new research out today I just saw about um, over 50 and how regular exercise is good for mental acuity. But I had an article I wanted to talk about last week, so humph, that's what we're going to so talk about. So we'll go about. back to last week. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And it was about how um, running has found it was found to be the most effective type of exercise to increase life expectancy. Oh. Um and they found um, running one hour uh, could increase your life expectancy by, so one hour a day could increase your life expectancy by up to uh, 40%. They said uh, it was uh, runners um, can get an extra seven years. Seven years. To their lifespan. But to get that seven years, you have to run an hour a day every day. No. No? Just an hour a day once a week. Once a week. Once Sorry, a week. Okay. I should have made that more clear. 60, yeah, I didn't want to run an hour a day a seven times a week. 60 minutes a week. 60 minutes yeah, a week. Yeah, it was all you needed to do, which is pretty bizarre. When you think about all the things that we've talked about so far, um, running seems to be the most aggressive at attacking your waistline and your blood pressure. Awesome. So walking was good, extended lifespan. Um, they looked at biking, good, extended your lifespan. But no form of exercise had as big of an impact on longevity as running did. And it doesn't need to be 60 minutes every single day. It was just 60 once minutes week. once a week. Well, let's define running. I guess it's all relative. Because I've seen some people who are running. I'm doing air quotes here. You can't see that on yeah. the radio. But, radio air quotes. But, but I've seen some people running, and I can walk faster than that. And I don't walk fast. <laughs> yeah, so it's all, it's all relative, right? A, a walk for you might be a run for me, which you know, might be a jog for somebody else. Gotcha. So I think that the key aspect is, is you, you know, you're getting your heart rate up, respiratory rate up. You're making your heart work harder, mm-hmm. and that's going to help with um, compliancy, and it'll help with, um, with blood flow, and, and hopefully that'll help with reducing blood pressure long term well there you go get out and run one day a week at least at least for an hour yeah for an hour and and like you say that start if you're just starting then that run might be really slow you might not go far in that hour but yeah it's a goal to work towards i I don't recommend anybody getting off their chair being inspired by us running for an hour and running for an hour (laughs) today but you know guess like i said walking was effective just not as effective as running so i think as always our take-home message is get off your duff and move do something move yeah Yeah. if you have any questions or comments for us just uh, contact us here at the station info info at wgwg.org